Ooh, what do we have here? Something from Ford Performance. Look at that. We'll have to see what it is. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel guys. Tommy here with Sinister Productions bringing you guys another vlog. Today, as you saw, we got a package dropped off by UPS for performance. Um, it is something for the Mustang. It's like one of the only things I'm kind of surprised they didn't do cosmetically, at least this portion of it. Um, so, we're gonna get into this thing, we're gonna unbox it, we get get it on the car, and we're gonna finish that ass end out. Here we go. All right, let's see what this is. Ah. I'm gonna unbox it right here. Sorry about the shaky camera. Oh, that's not good. Really glad package this so well. Alright. Take this off there. And lo and behold, we have hopefully this isn't damaged. Boom. We got ourselves the Ford Performance rear deck lid panel for the car. The factory one, I wanted to go with the 18 and 19 because I really like, gives it a little bit of, it breaks that monotony of the black up a little bit, or the smoothness rather. Um, but I did go with this one. Does not have the GT badge in the middle. This is the Ford Performance one. Um, so this is for like the 18, 19, 20. Um, the 15 through 17, this, this was just solid. So um, so there she is, guys. I'm gonna put this on the car in just a little bit and we're gonna see how she looks. All right, so first things first, we gotta get this old deck lid panel. See, this is the factory one. It's got the Chrome GT MM, our badge in the back. I'm not a huge fan of that, especially since everything else is kind of blacked out. It's got the black, you know, 5-0 badges and stuff on it, so in the in the grill, that's all blacked out. So this is the last little bit of chrome on the car. Literally the only thing that's chrome on the car. I actually did. I don't know if you guys could notice the difference either, but these were like a a metal look. These little rivets. So I went in yesterday, painted all those. Looks a lot better to get rid of that crap on the back of it. So. All right, let's go ahead, get the trunk open, excuse the mess. So we're gonna have to pop off this interior liner here. Pretty simple. These just unscrew here. On both sides. I've done about two, of, I've done two of these, three of these. So it's not too bad, you just gotta be very careful because the last time on my 2018 Mustang GT, when I was prying here, because you got to pry here a little bit to get this off to break the clips loose. I accidentally put dings along this whole, whole thing, which was horrible. So, and it showed up really bad on black. So, and then you pull these little corner pieces here off. Pop those out on both sides. Because those are where your bolts are that actually hold that panel in. So, I'm going to get a panel popper remover. Come on, focus panel power remover to get the rest of these out and uh, take this off so all right so go in here get a panel popper rem popper remover take this just in case I need it we're going to need one of these and a rag we got plenty of rags in here Get a rag, 
so as to not scratch up the rear trunk. Okay, so once you get the interior trim panel off, um, you don't have to take this off. This is all part of it. Come on, focus. So this, you don't have to take this off. Um, essentially, you just kind of work this little area right here around that trim piece. Um, so you don't have to take this off. You just undo this from that, just clips. So yeah, it just unclips from the actual trim piece there. So what you want to do is you up in here, you've got your backup camera. So you just unplug that. And I think you're going to need like five millimeter sockets. So let's go in the toolbox, see what we got in the way of five millimeters. I don't know. Let's see here. But we're going to go ahead and take that backup camera off and then see what else we got to do. All right, so that was by far literally the easiest one I've ever pulled off an S550 Mustang. Um, these clips popped everything right off with no hassle whatsoever. She was ready to come off by far. So, I mean, I literally, I didn't even have to use, I think I barely used this on this corner here just to, to get a little bit of leverage to pull it and you literally just pull it straight back and she pops right off just work it from one side to the other i basically got to the camera area started the other end and worked myself self way back to the middle and she came right off so all right now all we got to do now is swap the rear view camera out that is a 5.5 millimeter if it'll focus this, these are 5.5 millimeter uh, sockets or bolts. So need to take the rear view camera off that, swap it over to the new panel. All right, so we got the camera off this one and we just moved it over to this one. This is very simple guys. It's got a little, um, come on focus. It's got like a little bracket here. So once you take these two bolts off on either side, this little bracket pulls off the camera and then you pull the camera out. So it's really not that bad. Swap it over. Make sure you do a direct back over because if you flip it over, it will flip up the direction of the camera. So it will mess that up as far as I know. So I normally just transfer directly from one panel to the other. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get this thing all prepped up and ready to go. And we're going to put it back in the car. All right, so we're gonna very gently take this right over here. What I'm gonna do actually, before I put that in, I'm going to take a little of my Adams Polish's waterless wash and the, normally I've got a waterless wash um, rag, but Apparently they're all dirty, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to spray this down, get this last little bit of crap from over here, I'm just going to wipe it down, I mean you already got it all apart anyway, so why not just clean it, and the waterless wash works great for stuff like this, so Luckily, I got no dents and no dings on this. Put it down to about there so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. Take this. So, this has got like a little clip panel here. And what that has to do is you've got a thing here to where that actually has to go and slide up into it and then place it down. So. Be very careful when doing this so you don't scratch your panel up. Make sure this gets into place up in there like that. And then, clips along the whole thing. Make sure the clips are all in. And boom. There you have it. Very, very simple install. Um, I will have to admit, 
I will admit, the last couple installs I did of this kind of were a pain in the ass, especially on the 2018 Mustang, even though it was a brand new car. Um, everything was so much tighter. That panel, the clips, everything was really, really tight. So you may have a little bit more you know, trouble than I did with this. Like I said, this one <laughs> literally pulled straight off. Just be very gentle so you don't break it. Um, besides that, guys, very, very simple install. All right, so these four bolts that we took out, I'm gonna go ahead, put those back in. She is nice and secure now. And that looks, I'm not gonna shut it all the way, but that looks a billion times better than this Chrome one. I mean, some people still like the Chrome GT, but that to me looks way, way better. And I really need to make the back of this car look really, really good, because that's what a lot of people see, is just the back of this car, so. <laughs> I need to make it look as, as beautiful and as, as aesthetically pleasing as I possibly can. So um, I do plan on doing something with that rear diffuser too, by the way. Hopefully very soon, as soon as it comes back in stock. But, all right guys, so that's gonna do it. I'm gonna take uh, do a quick walk around once I get everything buttoned back up. Um, get everything, get the panel back in, everything buttoned back up. Let me plug the camera back in. Boom, don't want to forget to do that. Um, I do find it easier to take the camera out after the panel's already off. Um, for the simple fact, the way these are angled, it's kind of hard to get a socket up in there or anything, any kind of tool up in there to really remove it. So just unplug it and then pull the panel and then swap over the camera. Makes it a heck of a lot easier, so. All right guys, that's gonna, damn, ah, sun is bright. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this vlog. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and it got really fucking dark in here again. There we go. A little bit of light. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit the bell. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Change me, nobody ever gonna phase me. No fake accounts like KD doing the shit that I want to. Nobody I'll ever run to. Dress like a motherfucking god when I reach the spot.